بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلبة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الثالث من المحاضرة الثانية بالمحور الرابع والذي بعنوان Conventional Break For long project, for long objects, sorry, that have to draw in a small scale to fit them on the paper, it is recommended to remove its long portion which contains no important information and draw the, and draw the break lines at the broken ends. Let's take an example. If we have the format here with a scale 1 and 1, for this long object or part, we can remove. It's better to remove this part. On, uh, there is no important information here, so we'll make it broken and increase the scale to show more details. Here the scale is 2 on 2 on 1, and we make here broke, a break uh, for this uh, length which there is no important information. Standard break lines. So, rectangular cross section for wood, we use this representation. For metal, we use this representation. For cylindrical cross section, it is used this shape. And for tubular cross section, we use this shape. To draw cylindrical break, we have some step to follow. This is the radius. We take the third of this radius from here. We draw a line with 30 degrees from up here and from this point we draw also 30 degrees. After that, we'll take from this point an arc. From down also. 30 degrees and we'll draw this arc. We'll continue by the same way at the right side to draw this arc here. We continue it to make it tangent from here and tangent from down and draw section lines. This is to make cylindrical break. To dimension a broken part, for this part for example the length is 800 we have a diameter 16. This is typical here, typical dimension method. Here we have to put 800 with a line under, under lines and not to scale dimensions. 